Hello. Hi, John. Hi. Um, so, uh, my uh, friend uh, George, uh, he wanted me to ask you, uh, both of you actually, uh, what got you guys into uh, acting, uh, voice acting? And uh, also, John, uh, if you could sing a little bit of the Spine Song, if you can. <laughs> I don't know if that's official. I'm going to let David take off of this first, because I actually haven't heard your story. You haven't heard my story? Um, I was doing plays in Vancouver, and someone heard my voice and said, come do villains. <laughs> that was that, yeah. And I just started doing them. And that was 1993, 94. No, I don't have to sing? Okay. No, you do not have to sing. Sorry, that's one of those <laughs> questions that, no. Sorry. You there will be no spine because, song today. If you want to, that's fine, fine. But I, I actually, you don't have to. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I can't sing the spine song because I literally made that up off the top of my head when I recorded right. it. Uh, they didn't even give me music to sing to it. They just said, "Do something about the spines and stuff," and I just kind of Jack Blacked it up. <laughs> uh, as far as my origin story, uh, I've been a fan of cartoons and and you know Transformers, especially since I was a little kid. When I first heard Peter Collin, it was in Voltron. It wasn't in Transformers. And when I, I, it was back before, you know, TVs just kids instantly glued to them. So I wasn't really paying full attention, but I heard that. I heard Voltron, Defender of the Unit. And I just instantly turned around. I was like, what was that? And I didn't even know really what I'd heard or what was going on. I was like, man, I want to, I want to be that one day. I didn't think I want to do that. I don't want to be that voice. I just wanted to be that one day, whatever that meant. Um, then that was when I was five. And I just, I've done plays and I acted in school and just anything I could do. And then when I was uh, in college, I started researching about voiceover and just became, it was more of a fan thing than anything else. Uh, I did it for fun on my own, making YouTube stuff back in 2007 is when I started on YouTube. But uh, my wife, I was a kitchen manager at Chick-fil-A. My wife started me a MySpace page. That's a stupid little website. Social media is so <laughs> dumb, guys. Uh, and they had, it was back before we could afford a pop-up blocker and when it was not standard built into your desktop software. And a pop-up ad popped up for a, a local, it was basically mainly non-union, but mostly, you know, it was it was a little bit of both, but they pushed their non-union talent. But it was, an, it was a recording studio that also kind of acted as an agency, kind of, it was weird. Um, but they were they were online only, and my wife's like, oh, you should go try it. They have a location in Memphis, which is where we lived. I didn't know there was any voiceover stuff in Memphis. And I went and tried out, and they, they just kind of blew them away. I started doing little, small, non-union commercial stuff. Eventually, somebody out here heard me. He's like, I think you'd be great at trailers, and started doing some trailer stuff. Eventually, somebody else found me on YouTube. Is like, hey, I think you'd be great doing our video game stuff. Started working for 2K Games. My my first manager moved me over to my current manager, which moved me with CSD. And 10 years later, here we are. So, wow. And that's the short version, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you.